Hey everyone, it's V Jose for you too again with another deck review, another bridge size deck of point cards. These are the Pietnik Wheels. They are from, I, yes, from Vienna, from Europe, from Austria. This is what the front of the box looks like. It says Pietnik on top, wheels, and then bridge size at the bottom, and there's a logo. The logo at the very bottom. It is essentially the same as the one seen in the Anglo backs of a guy on a horse. Same logo as far as I can tell. It's very hard to see it though. Kind of a basic front. On this side it says Fred, Piatnik and Sons, Vienna. This side, again, the same. Actually, it's not Fred, sorry. It's Ferd. Ferd, Piatnik and Sons. <laughs> I saw it. I was looking at it this way. I'm looking at it this way and it looks like it says Fred. But it's actually Ferd. <laughs> And then on the top it says bridge playing cards and on the bottom number 1392 and then it says there's a barcode and above the barcode it says pietnik.com so check them out if you want to know more about them they are a pretty big playing card company in Europe and the back design looks like this it's kind of similar to a rider back in some ways a little more elegant though a lot of detail to it maybe a little bit too much going on I'm not sure you open it up, there's some trademark information on the flap. And the flap is, if you've seen the Anglo backs, it's exactly the same. The way it looks, there we go. It's exactly the same as the Anglo backs, so it's probably printed by the same company as the Anglo backs. And then the blue deck, exactly the same, except that it's blue. And look at this. Kind of like in that last. In the Queen's Flipper deck, there is a bridge score chart. It also says extra joker in the middle, and it has a star in each corner in red. So it's an extra joker as well as a bridge scoring guide. So there is what the backs of the cards look like. Not bad. Not bad at all. Like I said, it's kind of elegant looking, but a little bit too much detail, I think. The court cards, as you can see, have their faces colored in much more noticeable in this deck than the Queen's Slipper if you saw that review. And it has four indices on these cards. All the cards have four indices as you can see. Just like the Waddingtons. There's a heart. There's a club. There's a king. Looks like Santa almost. The white beard. And here. Can't believe I just said that. <laughs> The Joker. There's this guy. It says Joker in all four corners. And that's kind of strange. The guy's only got half a body. He's missing his legs. And again, he's holding his head on a stick. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Or maybe that's his girlfriend. I don't know. He's holding. He's got a head on a stick. And he's missing his lower body. <laughs> really weird. Not sure. Whose bright idea that was. Like other European decks, the Ace of Hearts is the main, is the big deck, the big ace in the deck, not the Ace of Spades. As you can see, it's got that trademark logo with a horse, of a guy on a horse. And it says Fred Pianic and Sons Vienna, and then it says Pianic.com right on the very bottom. And in some places in Europe, it's the Ace of Hearts. That is the main ace, if you will, and not the Ace of Spades. There's the other Joker. Again, he's missing half his body. <laughs> Go figure. There's a Knight Queen. I haven't seen anyone. And a Jack. However, in this case, the Ace of Spades is actually a special Ace of Spades. And it says, Made in Austria on the very top. There's that horse, guy on a horse logo inside the Spade Pip. And it says, Pietnik, Vienna, below that. Nothing too spectacular about it, in my opinion. But it's, you know, it is what it is. It's not a bad looking Ace of Spades. It's just not exciting in any way.
it shuffles nicely. Although it's a little bit hard to push the cards together. It does appear to have a smooth finish. I'm not really sure what the finish is smooth or not. It looks like it's a smooth finish. Fanning? Huh. <laughs> Terrible. As you can see. It probably worked better if I had some fanning powder, but that's pretty bad. Don't buy these cards if you like fanning because that doesn't work. Do this spread. Again, I'm having the same result as I did with the Nanobus cards. If you saw that review, the cards just are not spreading. They're pretty nice to look at. Don't do for practicing certain stuff. Don't do for playing grids <laughs> or poker if you want. I'm not sure why you'd want to play poker with a bridge size playing cards, bridge size deck, but yeah, don't buy it for the handling, that's for sure. If you want to buy this deck, by all means, you can find them on eBay, but just don't buy them for the handling because they don't handle very well, as you can see. Anyways, that's just a little quick review on the Piatnik wheels. I don't know if there are any other Piatnik decks that are better quality. If you know, let me know. I'd love to find them. Other than that, if they are made by the same people that make the angles, I don't know what happened to these ones. They're just not very good quality. I am going to attempt a few more reviews. I did have a request for the crown decks. And there's a couple others that I want to review, so stay tuned for that. More reviews on the way, as usual. And I will see you next time.